I'm Scott Hackle from 7th Wave. I'm a principal engineer working primarily on commercial building systems, uh, advanced HVAC systems and controls, as well as uh, lighting and plug load controls. I want to make sure I thank my co-authors, uh, Chris Plum from Center for Energy and Environment, and Rick Carter from LHB Architects. There were also uh, several others from 7th Wave, uh, CEE, and LHB that helped uh, on the research. It was truly a team effort. In this particular project, we were looking at trying to reduce plug loads in commercial buildings, specifically office buildings. Um, it was a field study where we took a lot of measurements, and uh, our primary goal was to measure that, actually measure that reduction and potential for reduction in plug load energy by implementing a variety of strategies in the offices that we were in. We also took other measurements like uh, baselines and um, uh, measurement of the plug load energy as a percentage of, of total energy. So there's a lot of other metrics we captured, but the, the primary goal was to really understand the potential and the opportunities for reducing office plug loads. We've learned a lot and we're still learning a lot. We're still analyzing the data. Um, our presentation at, at ACEEE is going to cover um, the bulk of the, uh, the data that we've collected and the lessons learned. Um, so we're, we're actually just finishing up that analysis now. But uh, we, we certainly uh, found success in the reduction strategies that we tested. Um, we tested some advanced power strips and found those to be successful. There's, there is still energy to be saved in um, office equipment with, with smart power strips. We also tested uh, a behavior campaign applied in addition to those smart power strips and found that savings increase, increases by in the neighborhood of 15% by adding some behavioral techniques in addition to the, the technology. So that was, that was interesting as well. The other type of reduction strategy that we, um, that we tested was implementing computer power management in uh, different office, uh, different types of offices with different types of computing infrastructure. And what was surprising there was the, uh, the differences in in how much people were willing to put up with computer power management. So we had certain offices that were anxious to try um, reducing their computer power as much as they could. Um, we worked with IT departments that were you know, very accommodating to implementing computer power management. On the other side of the spectrum, we, we certainly ran into um, office cultures that were very against implementing additional computer power management. Um, both from the side of the IT department as well as, as the staff, and then a mix in between. Um, but but uh, whether you were dealing with the staff or dealing with an IT department, it was often dependent on the culture or the way that things had been done for a considerable period of time that dictated what you would be able to do with that reduction strategy, and that was kind of surprising.